Many online teachers, perhaps like yourself, are considering or currently teaching their own students outside of a company and teaching ESL online privately and independently under your own name. And one of the stumbling blocks that you might be facing or are considering is what curriculum should I use? In this video, I'm going to showcase six ESL curriculums that you might want to use with your students and stick around to the end where I'm going to give you the pricing for each curriculum and my own thoughts. Hello everybody, my name is Tim from OnlineTeacherDude.com. I am an online teacher, business coach, and I'm here to give you the most up-to-date resources and value for you in your online teaching journey. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here, or if you're returning and you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click below. I would love to see you back for a future video or my live show every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to contact me, the best way is through Instagram at Online Teacher Dude or through email. My email address is below. While there are many online curriculums out there on the internet, I am not going to cover all of them. I am just going to show you six. If you are using or are interested in another curriculum, please leave the description of that in the comment section. I'm sure that the community would love to hear of other ideas and resources as well. And as well, I have a Facebook group called Going Solo Independent Teaching. The link for that is also in the description of the video. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are surviving this crazy last couple of months of online companies crashing and disappearing and maybe uh, you deciding how you're going to pivot and how you're going to shift in this industry. And so hope you find value in this video and let's get into it now. The first curriculum I want to feature is by Daniel Didio. It is called Chit Chat to Fluency. Daniel is an experienced VIP kit teacher. He's a really cool guy and has spent the last couple of years building his own ESL curriculum. And now with the shift in what's happened in China, this might be a really great resource for you to check out. So his curriculum is built on the idea that teachers need to have flexibility in how they're teaching and he really builds that into his lessons. He wants teachers to be able to take their students and figure out you know, the areas of their, uh, that they're struggling in, their weaknesses, and to be able to you know, shift and adapt based on those. So a lot of his uh, lessons do align with the various levels in some of the bigger companies like VIP Kid and GoGo Kid, etc. But they are built on his own uh, unit structure. So with Daniel's curriculum, you'll be able to jump in and you'll be able to kind of assess your students and figure out what is the best unit, the best lesson to start on. Currently, his curriculum is divided into level one and level two. Level one has over 280 lessons and level two has 120 lessons and building. So altogether, about 400 lessons. And he says that they correspond roughly to the VIP kit level two to level five curriculum. He is continually adding and building. And once you are a member inside of his curriculum, you will have lifetime access to it, as well as all the updates and you know lessons as he builds and grows his curriculum. I actually purchased Daniel's curriculum about a year ago and you know was able to kind of explore and go through some of the lessons. And I really like how he's used some external tools like book widgets to bring in some really fun interactive extension ideas for your lesson. So at the beginning of each lesson, there is a prep time slide with links to flashcards, weather wheels, random question generators, and things like that. Okay, so Daniel's curriculum is linked in the description box. Just look below, click read more, and you'll find the links to his and other curriculums. Now, the second curriculum I want to feature is called Crystal Clear ESL Curriculum. Now, I actually met with Crystal. She is the creator of this curriculum and someone who has also worked with online ESL companies in China and, and has been able to take, you know, some of the good things from that and change some of the things that she didn't like about those curriculums to suit her needs for the curriculum that she wanted to create for ESL teachers like you. Her curriculum is in development, so not all of the levels have been built out yet, but once you are a member, you will of course get access to all the updates so you can dive in and see what she's got and see how it fits with what you are needing. So her curriculum is step by step, which means that you know she really helps to walk you through um, how it all works as well as makes it really easy for you to use with your students in the classroom. The, uh, there are built-in assessments, exercises and activities are also built into the lessons, and it's a really fun curriculum. I had a look at it 
and uh, explored around and I really like the way that it looks. I like the way that it's laid out as well. I also wanted to mention that it is aligned with the Sefer uh, curriculum objectives, which stands for the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. I had to look at that because there was no way I was going to remember that. So that's really good to know and you know it's good to know that a curriculum is based on some standard objectives and not just something that someone has kind of come up with and created out of the blue, out of nowhere. There is some alignment to that, to that framework. All right, the links for Crystal Clear Curriculum, again, are in the description of this video. The third curriculum I wanna to highlight today is called Kid Inspired, and it is created by John Carlson. John is uh, bringing this curriculum from a curriculum that he created for his ESL school in Taiwan and he has put everything online for teachers, ESL teachers to use within their classrooms or in their online classrooms. Now, it's important to know that his curriculum originated from his classroom resources, and so he is in process of taking all of those vertical styled um, sheets and turning them into interactive landscape uh, framed lessons to use on platforms like Zoom or you know whatever platform you're using to teach your classes. So this curriculum is so comprehensive and I was really impressed with John's desire to really help teachers. He's a real um, teacher's teacher. He loves to train teachers and provide lots of amazing content for teachers who are using his curriculum or who just want to learn how to teach ESL online and all those types of good things. He has really broken it down into uh, different categories within his members area so that you know based on what you need it's easy to find and as I said once you're inside of his members area you are able to access uh, the PDF for those lessons you're able to also use those lessons on Nearpod and uh, as well as PowerPoint and as I said before he's changing all of those lessons to become landscape mode for your online classes as well. He also has a great level chooser assistant, which is you know what a lot of teachers really want to have to be able to figure out what's the best level, the best lesson to start with their students. So I really like that feature as well. All right, you'll find the link for Kid Inspired in the description of this video. Let's jump into curriculum number four, which is called ESL Pals. All right, ESL Pals is a little bit different in that they actually allow you to choose whether you want to teach adults or kids. So they have curriculum created for adults if you want to teach general English for adults or business English for adults and they've also got units and levels for teaching kids as well. In addition to the actual curriculum they've also got grammar worksheets and other resources that you can use from their website. They've also got a lot of cool free stuff as well. We all like free and so you can check out the free stuff if you're not quite sure you know if this is the platform uh, curriculum that you want to use and uh, dive on into the free section first, if you want. All right, curriculum number five that I wanna feature is a curriculum that I have featured on this channel before. I actually uh, interviewed Chris from OffToClass.com in a previous live show where we talked about using his curriculum with private students or marketplace platforms like italki or Cambly or Preply and places like that as you're kind of figuring out who and what you want to teach, Off to Class is a great resource for that. And again, stick around to the end of this video where I'm going to share pricing for each of these six curriculums. So Off to Class is a little bit different in that they are more geared towards adult ESL learners. I do use Off to Class with one ESL student, but they are in high school and they have a, a really higher level of English and most of the lessons on Off to Class really suit um, his ability and his level really nicely, but you would not be able to use off to class with your young learners. Off to class is primarily upper level students or adults. Off to class is more than just ESL content. That is the bulk of what they offer, but they also offer student management so that you're able to um, have your individual students log into off to class to be able to access the lesson. They have their own platform on there where once the student is logged in, you and the student are able to see the screen. You will see the teacher notes alongside the lesson and the student will see their interface as well and be able to interact on the screen. Now, the other cool feature is that you're able to link your Zoom or you know other uh, video conferencing link into the platform so that when the student logs into the lesson that you have assigned to them, you and them are able to click that Zoom link and go into a Zoom conferencing uh, area 
uh, to be able to do the, the audio or if you wanted to share a screen you could but you don't really need to because the student can be logged into off to class itself. The other great thing is they do have an assessment tool which you're able to take the student through before you start teaching them so that you can kind of gauge where they need to focus on and areas that they need to work on. So you can use those as a starting place for your lessons. All right, off to class will be linked in the description box and the sixth curriculum, the final curriculum I wanna show you a snapshot of is Reading A to Z. Now, Reading A to Z is curriculum resources that I use as a brick and mortar teacher when I was teaching in schools in Canada, as well as when I was teaching in international schools over here in Asia. Um, they are not specifically designed as, you know, PowerPoint lessons that you might be used to with VIP Kid, Magic Ears, GoGo Kid, and those kinds of things. They are really a huge library of resources for your students focused on reading. Um, they also have an ELL component for your English language learners so that you can really scaffold and, and uh, use resources that are going to support uh, your ESL learners. Remember, you may not just specifically be teaching ESL learners from China. You might have students from around the world or in other countries that really need to focus on reading, specifically grammar, you know, and things like that. And so reading A to Z might be a, a good option for you. Okay, as promised, thank you for sticking around to the end. We are going to now talk about the pricing for each of these six curriculums. Let's get into that. All right, so for Chit Chat to Fluency, Daniel Didio's curriculum, his pricing is set as a one price option with lifetime access. So right now, the filming of this video, it is $89. Once you pay the $89, you will have access to the curriculum for as long as it exists and with you know, all the updates that uh, Daniel comes out with as he builds more and more lessons. So it is a one-time lifetime access fee of $89. All right, Crystal Clear Curriculum is priced a little bit differently. So with this curriculum, she has it priced at $9.99 per month for the lower level ESL curriculum. So if you just wanna teach children using her curriculum, it is $9.99 per month. Okay, for the Kid Inspired Curriculum, he also has a monthly membership to access that curriculum. It is $6.99 per month or $59.99 per year. All right, ESL Pals is structured a little bit differently, also on a monthly membership, but you're gonna be asked to pay $24 for three months if you do it in three month increments, so that's $8 per month, also really reasonable, or you can pay $49 for 12 months, which works out to be basically $4 a month, so even cheaper if you wanna go for the whole thing. You could you know, jump into the three month and then you could subscribe to the 12 month if you really like it and you're actively using it, you're gonna save a lot of money that way. So Off to Class actually has a free account, which is different from some of the other ones I just spoke about, meaning you can get in for free and use a portion of their curriculum. I think it's around 150 lessons. And if you're gonna you know, have more or want access to more, which I'm sure you probably will, then I'm gonna show you their pricing structure because it's based on the number of students that you have. So let's take a look at that. So here's the pricing for off to class. If you use start you know, with the standard version for what they call individual teachers or the premium, at its base rate, it's going to be $8 a month, which is 57.60 per year. That allows you to have two students and access to all 630 lessons. If you have five students, it's gonna be 144 a year or $20 a month. And basically the difference between standard and premier premium is that with the premium you're going to get the entire library of lessons plus access to IELTS, TOEFL, Business English, uh, and, and the full curriculum. Uh, placement tests are a little bit more varied. As you can see, you can get more specific detail. All right, Reading A to Z also has a free 14-day trial that you can get in there for free and take a look, but their annual subscription, if you want to subscribe, is $118. All right, that's it, six online ESL curriculums that you can use with your students. Now, I feel that a lot of them are very similar in, in the structure, and I love how a lot of online teachers have been innovative and created their own curriculums. As I've shared, many of them are in progress and are not completely finished, so it's important that you dive in and take a look, and based on the, you know, majority of this type of students that you're teaching, you might find one is more conducive to them than another one. I also love how they really are affordable. You know, if you think of over the course of a year, you know, most of these are going to cost you well under $100. And so if you've got 
two or three students, you know, you're going to be able to pay that back pretty quickly. I will say that it's very important as an independent teacher to choose a curriculum that you're comfortable with and that you market that curriculum in your marketing as a teacher. It's really important not to kind of have four or five different curriculums that you're using with four or five different students. You're going to drive yourself crazy. So jump in, take a look at the different samples that they have on their website. You know, some of them offer free trials. Take a look at, uh, at the curriculums and see which ones you're most comfortable with. And also reach out to the creator of the curriculum and see if you can jump on a chat with them or get some more questions answered and you'll be able to get a good feel of what is the best fit for you. Thank you for watching this video. Drop any questions you have in the comments of the video. I will try my best to answer them. I may not be able to, but if you've also got other curriculums that you use or want to share about another website, feel free to do that as well. If you do put a website into the comments, YouTube might delete the comments. So, you know, you can write it out if you are uh, inclined to do that. That would be great. Thanks for being here, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Hey, don't go anywhere just yet. These videos might be interesting to watch for you and if you haven't subscribed, you can do it right here with one click. Also, in the video description, I recommend different products and services and ways that you can work with me further. So don't forget, look in the video description below. See you soon.